Hey guys, so on this video, we're going to talk about cutting and blocking and why you people do it and how you can do it at home. So, first of all, cutting is when you're consuming less calories than you normally consume to be in a calorie de deficit. So, why do people do this? People do this so that they can look as lean as possible for an event like bodybuilding or just looking good for summer holidays and such. So how do you get yourself into a calorie deficit? So your BMR is your basic marble rate, which is what you need to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you've got your TDE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. And that is what you need to be in a deficit for. So if you're going on a cut, um, for example, if you're on 2,500 calories, and that is your maintenance level, you just need to go into a 500 calorie deficit. So you'd be on 200 calories, be a calorie deficit. So if you want to, <coughs> okay. So now let's go on to bulking. So bulking is when you're eating uh, more calories than you than you normally consume. So if you go off the example that I gave you earlier, so if you were on 2,500 calories, you're going to increase it to uh, 3,000 calories, be in that calorie surplus. And why do people do this? So people do this is so that it's easier to put on muscle when you're in a bulk. Yes, you're going to have some excess fat storage, but it's going to be there for reasons. Unfortunately, it is what it is when it comes to bulking. So after you've done your bulk, you're normally going to go into a cut. So when you're cutting, you can see that excess muscle that you gained and you will look more bigger than you did before you did your bulk. So when you're on a bulk, make sure you are doing heavy weights so that it can help with hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is just a fancy word to put on muscle. So I'll give you some tips for cutting first. So cutting, I have a high protein diet, a uh, medium amount of carbs and a low amount of fat. So with this, my tips is that do not restrict any food that you like because you most of the time going to go into a binge eating because you're going to restrict yourself of the food that you enjoy. You still have the food that you enjoy, just need to limit how much you consume on a normal uh, basis. And tip number two is to drink loads of water. So try to have around three to four liters a day, just because that will help you to stay fuller for longer, uh, and it just helps you to stay, stay nice and hydrated and to get rid of the fat that you burnt off. Because when you are burning fat, you are either going to sweat it out, or you can use your waist to, to get rid of it. And I think I think we all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So another tip is to have a high protein, high uh, fiber diet because that will help you to stay fuller for longer just because it's hard for the body to break down fiber and it takes your body a bit longer to process protein. Uh, on the other hand, carbohydrates and fats are quite easy to consume in the body because it's pure energy that your body needs. So just try to limit how much carbs you have. So, to get around carbohydrates, you need to have more complicated carbs than simple carbs. So what I mean by this is complicated carbs are sweet potato, uh, rice, oats, vegetables, fruits. So your simple carbohydrates is your pasta, bread, sweets, chocolate, anything that is a bit more unhealthy. But again, we all enjoy that little unhealthy bit. So don't as strict it as like kind of all out on your diet. Have a little bit here and there, but not as much as you would do normally. And then you have your unsaturated fat and your saturated fat. So unsaturated fat are your uh, fish, your oats, your nuts, and your other carbs, for example. And then you have your saturated fat, which you have your bacon, cheese, uh, and just limit how much you have on uh, that. Uh, and last tip is to have more fruit and veg. This will help you to have more minerals. And then lastly, we have fruit and veg. So these two are really good for your micronutrients that you need to sustain. And when you're in calorie deficit, you need as much nutrients you can because you have your limited amount of food. So also it will help you with being fitter for longer, and also it will just help you to have good amount of carbohydrates that are healthy for you. So let's run to bottom. So either you have a clean cut or a dirty bulk. So a clean bulk is when you're eating 
uh, as healthy as possible but in a surplus of food. And a jelly bomb is basically you can eat whatever you like, junk food, etc. And just eat as many times as you can to put on as much weight as you possibly can. For me, I did that, but mentally I wouldn't recommend it because it was a very time process to put on as much uh, fat choice that I did at the time. Uh, I would recommend to go on a clean cut because it's one healthier and two it's better for your mental health if you are going to go on the bulk. And for tip for bulking, just have more protein than you would do normally. Just if you have a if you have around say 100 grams of protein, increase it to 200. So for example, if you have 25 grams of protein in the morning, 25 in the lunchtime, and then and then you have 50 grams of protein at supper time. Just times that by two, have two times the amount you would do, so that'd be 50 times at breakfast, 50 times at lunch, and it's going to be uh, 100 at supper time. And that's an easy way to increase your protein level and to build muscle. And finally, is to have uh, supplements. So supplements just help you to consume the calories and nutrients that you need. So protein powder is an amazing source which is quick and easy to consume. So then you have creatine, which is a really good way to put on water weight, which then will help you in the gym put more weight to then put uh, that muscle into hot to help build muscle. So guys, so I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have liked this video, please like, uh, comment any below of any uh, videos that you want me to make in the future. And if you want to keep up to date with any content that I make on YouTube, please follow for me for more and have a good day. Bye.